Hey guys, Balint here, and uh, I just finished updating my whole webinar sign-up process, the whole funnel, and I'm so excited to test it out and just quickly wanted to share it with you how it looks like now. So basically, I collect email addresses inside of my Messenger with my chatbot, and I also send out an automated email when people give their email addresses and also track data into a, uh, a sheet. So um, I'm just going to go through it and then explain how it works. It maybe uh, helps you to uh, have some inspiration to build out your funnel, your business as well. Uh, there are so many integrations uh, available now and we are just scratching the surface. Like what's coming is mind blowing. So let's just um, jump into it and uh, I hope you to uh, share your ideas as well. So basically I'm going to just uh, trigger now the first message as I would normally sign up for my webinar and uh, we will go through it. So here it goes, um, there's this little gif and basically the first message is to segment the audience. I want to collect some data and also personalize their experience and maybe in the future I'm going to split the two audience and um, create a different, uh, like a be beginner and an advanced webinar. Now it's uh, valuable to both, but uh, people may not be aware of it. So I just want to make a reassurance. So for example, let's assume I don't have a chatbot and I just uh, want to make a reassurance that they, they will learn and they don't need anything, uh, 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 previous knowledge about chatbots uh, for, for them to, to learn a lot. And now uh, I ask for their email address. I also give a reason, uh, like uh, I will send a link via email and it's very important. Uh, actually, Robert Cialdini talks about that, like it's an obvious reason, but uh, it's, it's, it's great to, to use it. Uh, probably I could reword it and use the word because, but uh, I'm just rolling with this now. So I, uh, I don't worry about them giving a wrong address because that's what happens. Let's just uh, try something. Uh, there is a built-in um, um, filter so the email needs to have this format and it's it's just reasonable that they they give their proper email and uh, let's just uh, I just give my email and if they uh, press enter here or just buy a phone um, is, it, is it a comma I guess so let me just copy it and put a dot. Okay, so by submitting my email, uh, there are three things that's going under. Uh, there is the email sent out. So I, I'm, I will, I'm on the list now for this webinar and segmented to this special webinar. Also, the s data is set, so um, the date. So people who submitted for this special webinar, I, I know that it's it's for this uh, webinar, and all the information is saved to the to the Excel sheet, the the Google sheet, uh, which I'm going to share uh, you. Um, just quickly, I give them the opportunity to change the email. Maybe they, they misspelled it. It's uh, sometimes it's hard when people type on, 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 on their mobile phones. So if they go on, on change email, they can go on through this whole process and get the updated information as well to their email addresses. And as a, my is business is quite international and probably many of you as well, I just want to provide an opportunity for them to to see it in their time zone and set a reminder in their calendars. I, of course, I, I will set, send a reminder, but uh, it's it's better like people can organize this way so they can see it in the different time zones here and add to the calendar. Just a small tip uh, for me, from me. So now let's uh, see what the, the sheet registered. Uh, actually, it... Uh, Register twice. I don't know why, but uh, I probably set up uh, something incorrectly. Uh, anyways, um, these data, uh, the first name, last name, the time zone, and the messenger ID are coming from Facebook. 
The time zone is uh, not so important for me, but I just want to create, uh, just track the data, like how, how, how many people. So I think the sheet is a very good way to have a good overview over the people who registered for the uh, webinar. And uh, later on, I want to show their time zones as well in the chatbot. So it says, it doesn't say like it's, a, I don't know, like a 7 p.m. Eastern time, but it says like it's, um, I don't know, three in the morning in your time. So you probably should choose another webinar or something. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I haven't set it up yet, but uh, it's possible and uh, I'm going to do that. The messenger ID is really important because uh, it uh, helps you to find the user. That's a user ID from Facebook. It's only between your Facebook page and uh, the, the, the user. And that way you can send messages back to them as well. So this is what I have here. And the attended uh, is, is an extra um, opportunity to track uh, if they attend the webinar as well. And maybe I can do some automation regarding that and, and uh, segment the people again. So it's, it's crazy. Oh, and I haven't talked about the email, which is already sent out. And all in the future communication, I have this uh, connection between the chatbot and the email and I can just uh, use it all the time and oh, it's, it's, it's amazing. All right, uh, so let's just uh, start the message. Uh, like I can just say thank you, uh, see you there. Okay, I hit enter and it's saving and it's already sending it. Uh, there is some time delay here. So uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, stop the video and show you later on and uh, also the email. All right, so back, I uh, just uh, wanted to show you like uh, a couple of minutes later, there was the text I, I sent. And I also found the issue which uh, caused that uh, it was uh, saved twice into the sheet. Uh, I also set up uh, the same automation by the clicking on the link here on the button and also by uh, approving a valid email address. So yeah. That was about it, uh, and I hope uh, you have some imp inspiration and, and probably just uh, can automate something in your business and uh, just save some headaches from the future. And um, yeah, I, I think I will probably record a tutorial if there is uh, enough need, so let me know in the comments uh, what you think, uh, if, you, if you would like to see a tutorial on that.